Hello there guys, it's Joey and this is the witchy vlog for the Shapeshifter Oracle Week Little Brother Little Sister. To quickly recap on the meanings, it's about pretty much what it says on the tin, uh, responsibility for those in need of it. Um, could be a younger sibling. Uh, discovering your abilities to lead, show authority, set boundaries, inspire others, be a disciplinarian, all those sorts of things. Initially my thoughts uh, were it may be about community as last week was the balance of community and solitary. Uh, although that didn't turn out to be the case. As well as, of course, my sister and my nephew. Your Xmas season focuses on such energies anyway, although this card may as well sum up most of my life or my personality, taking on responsibility and duty from a very early age, sometimes painful but always willingly taken. I had a beautiful moment at the start of the week where I really wanted to engage with nature and I went down to the village green and the last time I'd been able to go was Samhain and I went at Samhain and said a few prayers to the Morrigan down there. That's where all the crows roost or a lot of the crows roost. And as I stood beneath the trees 30 to 40 I counted crows were circling above, cawing out, flying between two trees and back, spinning around almost in a vortex. It was incredible. Don't let mouths full of doubt and coiled tongues threaten your magic. D. Antoinette Foy. There's something to be said for this quote for the whole week. <clears throat> Let's repeat it because it is so true for witches. Don't let mouths full of doubt and coiled tongues threaten your magic. Feeling strongly drawn to lilac and lithium quartz so far at the beginning of the week. Went to the neighbouring town and picked up the quartz point that you can see. A labradorite, rhydochrysite, brazilianite, smoky quartz points, ruby and felspar and a beautiful black kyanite crow wing that the lady in the shop set aside for me. It's a, it was a lovely feeling that as well, and uh, sharing something like crystals with uh, people in the shop and things, even though obviously there is a, a, a shop dynamic there. Um, it's nice, it's nice to have that interaction, to have people think of you. Rodeo site had been popping up a lot this week and is about love, balance, self-confidence, easing issues caused by past lives and bringing those issues to a resolution, elevating the mind to a higher plane in meditation and energy work enhances love on all levels. Ruby and Feldspar, uh, which I've put away, so, um, but Ruby and Feldspar, I didn't have the meanings on the initial video, but I looked them up following. So it's a powerful heart healer, stimulates love and passion, helps us see the true nature of love, especially divine love, revealing its ever-presence. Self-awareness, creativity and self-love. Brazilianite is a heart-based energy, heart-based high energy vibration, sorry, empowers the spiritual will and assists manifestation, assists with personal boundary work, when to, con when to contract, preventing psychic intrusion, and when to expand if you're too tight due to past abuse or fear, transmutes resentment into self-forgiveness and gives emotional strength. Make everything you do part of the sacred dance, because it is. Joanne Morris, 2014. I am unlimited on the magazine. We either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same. And in the woods we return to reason and faith, spirits of old. I will allow space for all the feelings my heart holds. I will not cower or hide from myself. 
It's okay to feel the ugly, messy things. It's okay to feel the burning brilliance of beauty. It's okay to feel the soft winds of happiness or the quiet bursts of loneliness. It's okay to feel it all. It's okay to be myself, all of myself, not just the good. Suddenly a mist fell from my eyes and I knew the way I had to take Edvard Craig. <clears throat> so the next two quotes kind of sum up Morrigan's voice this week. One that she sort of said directly to me and another one which was from Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Women Who Run With Wolves. Bone by bone, hair by hair, wild woman comes back through night, dreams, through events half understood and half remembered. And then, for me, less whining, more warrioring. My sister was actually sick this week. Uh, she had likely food poisoning. And the first half of the week was this card evolved around this, my sister being sick. I um, spiritually, energy-wise connected to my sister and I can feel that, that drain and my sister is the only person who is allowed an energy connection to me and I won't allow anyone else. Um, so I created the healing grid and uh, that's already been up Quartz being of particular importance, circle in the square being about the uh, harmonisation of our physical beings and our spiritual selves, so body and soul and things of that nature. There was an interesting, I don't know what you call it, piece of information on Facebook about using colour therapy and spell breaking. Uh, so, literally, where well, we usually use colour magic for particular purposes of attraction uh, there was a list about colour magic for breaking negative magic and that was really fascinating it was a read this week so given that the colours <coughs> seemed to be around purple and pink this week. Lavender breaks spells of feeling hopelessly connected to or affected by the past, breaks spells of chronic guilt or feelings of doom about the future. Pink breaks spells of negativity in general, as well as feelings of neglect, melancholy and a belief that one is unspecial. And then there were some personal Spell work at the end of the week, yada yada yada, that's all personal. Yeah, so generally speaking the latter half of the week was fucking horrible. Um, most of it is really private and I'm not going to share it. I'm going to share a quote from the old crone's corner which really helped me. When you start doubting yourself, remember how far you have come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. And at the end of this week, I started off feeling quite melancholy about the situation, which, given the uh, preemptive warnings of both the crystals uh, that I had been drawn to and the colour magic I had been drawn to, makes sense. So I had been wondering when uh, trying to make friends became like a Russian roulette. And it was something that was bothering me and hurting me a great deal and I started to really delve into that within myself this week. Feelings of isolation and loneliness coupled with um, bad experiences which of course don't help. Um, and I was really contemplating this. And at one point I was like, thank God I have, and goddess, <coughs> I have my sister. Uh, my sister is my soul sister. And we've been through hell and back together. And we love each other. And she, she's my soul sister as well as my blood sister. She's my best friend. And 
for a long time I actually felt kind of, you know, it was kind of like, am I that sad that my best friend is my sister? And as I sort of grew and evolved, I realised that, you know, no, I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Her and I have a bond, and yeah, basically this card sat me down and I was sort of mulling and musing and meditating about the whole word sister, and that gets bandied about a lot in pagan circles, brother and sister, uh, to refer to friends. And <clears throat> I've come to the decision and the feeling and the thought that I'm not going to call anybody brother or sister unless I trust them like I trust my blood sister 100% because <clears throat> otherwise it's attaching a really beautiful, powerful, magical word to relationships which are undeserving of it. And for me, the term a family and sister is they've got your back and they're not going to drop you when it's difficult or hard or inconvenient and they're not going to make you feel worthless or cast you aside and make you feel bad and all the rest of it and there's not going to be those mind games and whereas I've got my head around the notion quite readily of uh, family isn't necessarily who you're born into um, I've had to learn that and that's a positive lesson for me now in, in myself that uh, family is, is loyalty above blood There's these ties of honour and loyalty are much more important than the family that you're born into necessarily. Um, and I got my head around that quite quite well and then I think I failed to see that that needed to expand into the idea of sisterhood. Um, that unfortunately when it comes in my personal experience to female friends they've nearly all been less trustworthy. Um, I felt more betrayed by female friends than any guy that I can remember, friend or more than that. I mean, borderline with some of the behaviour of some of the boyfriends I guess. But I don't know, I think it, some of it comes from me feeling far too deeply with this, this issue. I feel I'm far too put my heart and soul into things too much with uh, people and not being able to really count on the people that I've been putting my faith into and this week my sister and Sharon bless her um, have both come through for me and they're both in, in you know they've, they've got their own stuff going on um, and I don't like putting on people who are already in a really bad situation. I f feel terrible about it. And it's interesting because this whole week has actually been um, the push and pull, and, and a lot of it not even mine, of seeing this idea of what fr friendship is and this sort of... Um, I don't know how to even... what What is really real? and who who are there for their own gain or um, reasons that aren't on a pure heart level, aren't honourable maybe. So it was fucking horrible this latter half of the week and thank goodness for my sister and Sharon yesterday because I was at my wit's end yesterday. Um, and a special thank you to Violet as well because she, she left me um, 
and to anybody who left me a message I do appreciate it um, I really do I just I haven't been in the frame of mind where I can just balance myself for a balanced conversation and basically I only engaged with people I trust completely and I, I wonder if some like is this part and parcel of my shadow work? Possibly. I mean, there's definitely things that I need to work on for myself. Like, sometimes I do and say things and they upset people and I don't really realise that they upset people because I'm just saying how, speaking my mind, not thinking about these sort of niches and far-fetched reactions which I have no way of understanding, but then people get upset and I'm like, and sometimes I'm like, is that me being insensitive? Is that me being overly Virgo? Is that me just not being the same as everyone else? Is that me being a bad person? And I go over this and, you know, it's figuring it all out. But uh, I definitely I feel the pain in my voice now. <laughs> Great. definitely come to the point where the the word sister is currently applying to nobody but my sister um, and I hope to find I hope to come home and find people that I connect with but uh, more and more beginning to wonder <laughs> whether it's going to be just solitary I don't know and that I guess is going to be part and parcel of the shape shifting the going forward the learning of the lessons so that is it for this video many blessings